Hello, I'm Dr. Jay Chandra, working as a pulmonologist, and I have been a pioneer in the field of interventional pulmonology. This is a new subspeciality of pulmonology, wherein you go in and intervene in the lungs to benefit of the patients, especially in the part of treatment. Bronchoscopy and interventional pulmonology cannot be separated because that forms the basis for interventional pulmonology. You have different types of bronchoscopes. The main one that we use is what is called as a flexible bronchoscope. A flexible bronchoscope is an endoscope that you place and go into the lungs that is through the air passages and study what is going on in the lungs. This is a video chip which is at the tip of the endoscope. So you get real high clarity, high definition images of the entire tracheobronchial tree. Different sizes for different people. Each one for a specific job. You have instruments ranging from 6 mm diameter to about 2.5 mm diameter. For the treatment part of it, that is for the interventional part of it, we use what is called as a rigid bronchoscope. A rigid bronchoscope is a hollow tube, of course, with different diameters depending on the size of the patient. This is a hollow tube which is placed into the air passages, thereby giving us enough passage for ventilation during the entire process and also the therapeutic procedures that we do during this particular instrument, I mean use of this instrument. What can we do with these things? With the flexible, most of the work is diagnostic, whether it is a biopsy, whether it is a, a liquid biopsy of the lung or whether you want to take a sample of the lung and diffuse lung diseases, the flexible instrument is the one which is used. You can use laser, you can use electrocautery, you can use multiple instruments through the channel of this flexible bronchoscope. Rigid bronchoscope, yes, the commonest probably is in the hands of the pediatricians, wherein you put in a hollow tube to remove all the foreign bodies which get lodged in the children's air passages. I myself have probably taken out maybe four or five hundred foreign bodies in children over the last 20, 30 years or so. Apart from this, then we also have the procedure by which you remove the tumors from the air passages, placement of stents in the air passages when they are required, or when a patient is coughing out a lot of blood, you can go in and block the air passage through which the patient is bleeding, so that we have considerable relief and arrest of the bleeding in such kind of conditions. Thank you.